Hey guys, and in this video, I'm going to show you to catch those crazy mistakes in your code called bugs. If you're a coder, you're going to run into a bug sometime. And no, these aren't the six-legged kind. These are the kind that in the coding world is a mistake in your code. And these bugs don't come once in a while. They come literally almost all the time. And it's the most stressful part of coding. However, we can learn a lot from debugging, which is getting rid of the bugs. In fact, this is one of the ways that we grow as a coder. So here are some tips to help you debug your code. Also, although I mostly focus on Scratch in this video, this also applies for text-based languages. What loves to eat bugs? Here's a visual and an acronym to help you remember how to use these steps. Picture a cute little bird saying PEEP. PEEP is the acronym for our tips. Debugging tip number one is to identify the problem. For example, is a variable not working the way it should? Or is something wrong with the motion of the character? Tip number two is to use your eyes to examine everywhere in your code. Start by looking where you think the bug is. If nothing looks suspicious, go a little further and look everywhere the sprite is in Scratch or a bit upward and a bit downward in the code in text-based languages. You might have to look everywhere in order to find that bug. Tip number three is to look for anything extra or missing in your code. Make sure all your code is there and nothing else. In this example, the cat isn't bouncing. Oh wait, I forgot to add the if on edge bounce block. Tip number four is to do something called print debugging or print F debugging or caveman debugging, which I'm pretty sure that shouldn't be a name. Hmm? This is where you put print box or say blocks into your code to see if it runs. This is in an instance you do not think your code is running. So you add print blocks or say blocks in the code to see if it runs. If the print or say block runs, you know that the code is running there. But if it doesn't, you know it isn't. Once you've isolated where it is, you just have to find the bug. Let's click on this. False, it's supposed to be true. True is spelled correctly. Is running true? No, it's not. So let's set running the true and it works. Um, okay, Scratchy? You're making me dizzy. Like, I have other things to do, so can you just stop? <clears throat> Once you've done all these steps, the bug is likely squashed. Hooray! However, if it's still there, you might have to take some extra steps. You might want to look it up on the web and make sure to include your programming language when you search it up. And if that doesn't work, you might want to use online forms to get help on your problem. Stack Exchange is one of the forms widely used among programmers. And this is the end of my video on debugging. If you like this video, please subscribe. Watch out for my next video. Be there or be MC squared. Um, Scratchy, what are you doing? Like, um, I gotta end this video, so like, can you just stop? Just, just, oh, there's a button around here somewhere.